Hi homeschoolers, it's me Jazz again here at Hidden Library Homeschool and I'm back with my second graders curriculum. I don't want this video to become too long so I think I'm going to have to divide it up into a couple of different parts. So in this one I'm just going to show you what we'll be using for both math and science. So first up for math we will be using Write Start and this is level C second edition and we actually started level C at the end of last year. I don't know if you can see I tabbed off where we ended off with first grade and we'll just pick up where we left off. I think it was maybe lesson 40 or 41. This is the teacher's manual for level C, and like I said, this is second edition. When we first started up with Write Start a couple of years ago, they only had the first edition available, and a few months after I bought level A, they came out with second edition. And we ended up switching over, mainly because I just like the layout a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. They also give you explanations on the side of why you're teaching what you're teaching, and I have room to make notes. Like right here, we were learning about perimeter, so we watched the brain pop video about perimeter. I also have a few workbooks for him to do a little bit of practice first thing in the morning. This is Evan Moore Daily Math Practice Grade 2. I have Flash Kids Problem Solving and I really like this one because the problems are short but it's very colorful and math is one of Tony's favorite subjects so I think he's really gonna like this workbook. Last for math, we have Usborn Illustrated Elementary, Usborn Illustrated Elementary Math Dictionary. <laughs> um, this is also very colorful. And net, moving on to science for health, we have Harcourt Health and Fitness, and I also have the uh, Music for Daily Physical Activity CD. We used this textbook last year, well the first grade version of it last year, and I know you don't really need a textbook for health, you can you know do it just through daily life, but I like to have it because the lesson's are already done for me, and I know I'm not skipping over any health topics. This book is very colorful, the lessons are very short, and we also pair this with brain prop videos. So like I said, it's very colorful, and it only takes us maybe about five minutes or so to get through health. It's a very quick subject for us. For science, for life science, I don't have a textbook to show you because we're actually going to be doing an ebook. We'll be using Mr. Q Life Science and that is free online and I will link that below. I mean I know you can if you want to print everything out but we're not going to print it out just because I don't want to waste a lot of ink when I can just use my tablet for it. We have to go along with our life science we have a few science books. We have What's Science All About? And this book is actually three books in one. It has biology, chemistry, and physics, and separately each of these books would have been $10, but bound together was only $15. I have the Usborn Science Encyclopedia, and I was thinking about getting some pre-made interactive notebooks for us to cut and paste and do, but Tony wasn't a fan of all the cutting and pasting last year, so instead, we have the nonfiction read and write science booklets from Scholastic, and I think this will go over a lot better with him. The kids are just making booklets. It has a little bit of information and also information for them to fill out themselves. We have the nonfiction read and write booklet Human Body, and it's the same thing. Some information given and some information that they're filling out themselves. We have nonfiction read and write animals and habitats. So I think he's going to like this a lot better because he doesn't really, he wasn't into the whole cut and paste thing. So this is just, I copy it and we fold it into a book. I have a few um, biographies. We'll probably pick up a lot more books throughout the year. I just wanted a few things just to get us going. This is Florence Nightingale, Charles Drew, Daniel Hale Williams, and we have here a book about owls. And I remember last, not last year, um, it wasn't last year, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Back when I was in elementary school, we dissected an owl pellet, so I have an owl pellet for him. This is actually a synthetic one. I, di I didn't want to have the owl pellet just, you know, on my table. <laughs> So I have a synthetic one and in this they have a whole skeleton and there's a couple of different animals that you could get. This one is the mole. 
Um, we have What's Smaller Than a Pygmy Shrew. What Happens to a Hamburger. How Do Apples Grow. And I also have the Usborn Big, Big Book of the Body. And this has... Like it says, four giant fold-outs, and they are huge. They're almost as tall as me, but I'm short, so <laughs> that's not saying a lot. I'm only 4'11", so they're really long. It folds out even farther. Ooh. And there's four of those. And the last thing that we have for science is actually a public school textbook. We won't really be using it. It's more just as a reference. I like to have a public school textbook on hand just to see what other kids his age are using, and I know that he's learning the same thing, if not more. And this is very colorful. It does have useful information in it, but I think that we go a little bit farther with what we usually are doing. So yeah, I think that is all for our math and science, and I will be back soon with more of our homeschool curriculum. Thanks for checking this video out from Hidden Library Homeschool. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. Bye.